What's up, everybody? It's Truman here. And um, before I even go anywhere, I'm going to apologize if you hear any background noise, birds chirping, or cars, or a lawnmower. I do have my window open. It's finally a nice day. So I do have to apologize for that, first off. But, yeah, uh, PGUK opened up a server, or Prison Gaming UK, if you look them up, opened up a Minecraft server for their partners. It's running the Resident Rise mainline pack through the AT launcher. I hate Windows 10. They've uh, opened it up for their partners. I don't know if you all have noticed or not, I've got partnered with them. So you might see down at the bottom of the videos. Partnered with PGUK Part of Freedom. So, I mean, I haven't done a whole lot in this server. I mean, you see, I found this little beginning house that was built by one of the mobs, or pre-generated for the mobs, and it stopped right here. And you see, I mean, I haven't added a whole lot. I mean, I added a floor, press room. Mainly, I've just been indulging in uh, Tinker's Construct. did get from two of the guys that are here all the time, they did give me this ender chest. So if anybody needs stuff, we can just kind of send it back and forth. We make sure we ask before we take stuff out of that. Did luck out and find a world generated mine nearby. But what I'm doing this for is just to uh, preface or preference or whatever you want to call it. Just to have an idea of what I've got up here built. And actually, before I say that, I'm going to go over here. I do have this machine room built. And ain't a, a whole lot in that. Oh, lag. Oh, a lot of lag. I mean, there's a pulverizer from thermal expansion. Uh, energized smelter from mechanism. And my other Tinker's Construct block. And the metallurgic infuser from mechanism. I mean, other than that, there's not a whole lot of advanced stuff going on right now. I mean, that wind turbines. Which, actually, I've got a spare wind turbine I need to go put over here. Oh, there's more of that background noise. There's a plane going over. So, I mean, you'll, you'll get that around here. There's an airport one or two mountains over from me. I'll try to take out what background noise I can. But there's an airport and a National Guard base, like, right over the hill from me. So don't have a whole lot of options. Oh yeah, also, all this dark steel or dark armor and the ender came from, I believe, from, yeah, actually, MC Madness. He's on. Him and Motor decided to tie us before for some stuff. We just all kind of have a trade network of ender chest going on. But what I need to do, which I just got down here and defeated my purpose, I need to put this windmill back up here to power the pump. It's pumping water into these agriculture or agricraft sprinklers. And you see all the tiled dirt, that's just to the chisel mod. Put that back there. I forgot I had the basic energy cube down here. Well, that's made a mistake. Yep, my mistake. Can anybody recognize the mistake I made? I didn't connect the wind turbine. Now I'm stuck down here. Oh, well, route cable up there from here. Does that go into that? It does. Okay. But yeah, this is just from the chisel mod. It's designed to look like nether brick. Yes, I am growing hemp, or industrial hemp. Gotta love having rope. 
and barley and wheat. There, it runs that for now. Is that all of my cabling? Oh, it is. I have to make more cable later. The generator up. I actually found that in one of the villages. Also, one of the villages has a Railcraft rolling machine. Actually, I've got it marked over there. Yeah, it's got a rolling machine in it. But, no, I'm not going back in there. I'm going over here anyway. Oh, no, I need to go this way. I'm not swimming all the way around here. Did luck out and find that house, though. Or that world-generated house. On a lake. As you can see, part of the lake I blocked off. Made mine. And a uh, stream act, a river access, so I've got some of the best property in the world. I've got a lake and river access. Of course, as I mentioned, it does working in Tinker's Construct. We do have the Tinker's Construct smeltery. No, main thing is, so I'm doing this video for right now, is to realize what I've got over there. I'd like to do something like that, but have it underground. For those of you that know me in real life, yes, I'm thinking vault. But I know this small hole is not a vault make. So I might be... quarrying this area right here or I might just deal with this for now I don't know how much I'm going to do and I really don't want the people on the server mad at me for ripping out half a mountain or an entire mountain and there's a village back here I could go do it here or yeah, the village is right there been, apparently I'm also in a very active meteorological site because there's a meteor impact there there was one there so I'm apparently in a very active zone might be a good thing might be a bad thing one of the server built homesteads I've explored that I don't know why the map hasn't updated spawn only only issue I had with spawn was when I got into the server all the mobs decided to spawn in this area as well. When the mobs spawn in this area, it's not a fun time trying to get out. Another impact site. I mean, apparently this is a very active area. Electric railway out of spawn to the homesteads. I'll have to see about getting back there one day and and recording it. Like to and from. But main thing I'm doing this for is to show the idea that this is going to be made into a vault or a form of vault I don't know what I'm going to call it yet we'll keep it in tradition with the vaults they're just going to be up to three numbers so if anybody wants to suggest a number and no it won't be vault 69 before, I'm, before that comment gets said I'm going to shoot that down now I'm not doing that but yeah I think this will make a decent vault after I patch up the water and patch up the walls and rip what I can from the walls. But just to get an idea of what that quarry dug up. Let's just go back in here. I had a lot of issues with mobs spawning and getting in. And why didn't I sprint right there? And you see that, I mean, it ripped a lot from the earth. And actually, uh, uh, time to, time to go hide. I wondered when that neck would be again. Yes, yeah, so this server has something called the Blood Moon. Let's see if we can find the moon here. Uh, those that have played Unturned will recognize this. 
uh, mobs just spawn continuously. They're stronger. They hit. I think they hit harder. Thankfully, the mobs that are right here, those are actually non-hostile. It's nodding at me. But yeah, these crates, these crates are a life, these barrels are a lifesaver. Well, yeah. also people asked why I had the barricades up. I used to have wooden barricades here as well. Um, this is why, the Blood Moon. The Blood Moon is exactly why I had barricades up. Can I sleep the Blood Moon away? Probably not. No, I can't sleep the blood moon away. Well, even if I could, we'd have to do uh, The MC would have to be in bed as well. But uh, Anyway, I think this has been a good little preview of the Prism Gaming UK Resident Rise server. Hopefully the next time I record this, we won't be in a blood moon. Uh, this has been... It's been me hunkering in my home. Hope you've had a good time. Hope you enjoy these videos and come back for more.